Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my dice molds. So to get started, you're going to need your dice masters, obviously, and a cookie cutter. It doesn't matter really what shape you use. I like to use this circle or a smaller square shape that I have. Most of the time I use this circle because I can fit more molds in my pressure pot with this. So you're going to flip it over to the flat side of the cookie cutter and you're going to close that off with packing tape. I don't know why I did it like this in this video. I guess I was nervous. I don't really know. But usually what I do is I lay the tape flat on my desk and then I put the cookie cutter on top of it and kind of push down to make sure it's stuck to the edges. And then once you have the tape on the bottom, you flip it over and fold up the tape around the bottom edges so none of your silicone leaks out. And um, you can also go around the edges of the tape with hot glue just to be extra safe. I don't usually do that because my silicone cures really quickly, so I don't usually have any problems with it leaking out. And if it does, it doesn't leak very much. So after you have the tape put down and the edges sealed, you're going to stick your dice masters onto the tape. I usually do the one side facing down. I just find that easier for me and it keeps everything neat and facing on the same way. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you stick it down, it's just personal preference. So after you have all your dice stuck down, you're going to mix up your silicone. I usually mix up 60 grams of each part for this part of the mold. I mix up a little too much this time, but that's fine, it ended up working out. I'm using Dragon Skin 10 Fast, so it has an 8 minute pot life and it cures in 75 minutes. When you're mixing this, make sure to mix it really well. Both parts are the same color so it's kind of hard to tell when you have it mixed completely. So just really just mix until your arms are tired but keep in mind that this silicone only has an eight minute pot life. Uh, so when I pour my silicone into my mold, if I was using a slower curing silicone I would do this a lot slower than what I am doing. I still try to pour in a thin stream, but I just try to make sure that I pour it in all the little spaces so I don't have pockets of places that don't have silicone in them. Um, I'm not really too worried about all the bubbles because I'm just going to throw this in my pressure pot and that's going to take care of the bubbles for me. So I'm just trying to make sure I get everything poured covered up completely in all the little holes and stuff and put in the pressure pot before my eight minutes runs out. Um, I haven't had an issue with not having enough time. I'm just impatient so that's why I got the faster silicone. So after you have all your silicone poured into the mold you're going to throw this in the pressure pot and then like I said before this cures in 75 minutes so I'll leave it in the pressure pot for 75 minutes and then I'll take it out. Um, take the tape off of the bottom and then we'll start on the lid. So after I've taken the tape off the bottom, I cut my registration keys. You don't have to do it like this. You can also stick little keys onto your tape when you do the first part of the mold so you don't have to cut them after the fact. But I always forget to do that, so I just always cut my keys in. And you wanna, you want to have registration keys because if you don't, there's no guarantee that you're putting the lid on correctly and exactly where it needs to be. So these just kind of mark where where the lid goes, and they keep them 
keep the lid in place while it's curing so it doesn't slide around. Um, I usually cut three around the edges and then one in the middle so I have something so I have enough little grippy things to hold the lid in place for lack of better words. And then once you have all your keys cut you're going to take packing tape again and then put it around the outside edge of the cookie cutter and this creates your wall to hold the silicone in for the lid. And this, it doesn't have to be even unless you're a perfectionist and then maybe you shouldn't be doing it like this anyways. But this is what works for me. It's easy. It's relatively quick. It doesn't take a long time to make molds. And so now that I have the tape on, you're just, you're also going to go around the edges and make sure it's stuck really well so there's no holes that silicone could leak through and again you can go around with hot glue and seal the edges of the tape but I don't do that so after you have that done you're going to take Vaseline petroleum jelly and you're going to cover every silicone surface that is facing up that's gonna have more silicone poured on top of it um, this just keeps the silicone from bonding to the other silicone and it it makes it easier for you to peel the lid off. You want to make sure you get into the registration keys really well and around the the edges surrounding the faces of the dice because those are the places um, that I've had the most issues with when I don't have when I don't put enough of the petroleum jelly up there. They stick and then they rip when I'm trying to demold my masters. So make sure you have plenty of that up there. Um, it's always better to be generous than to not put enough and when you mix the silicone for the lid I usually mix 10 to 15 grams of each part of silicone and that's enough enough to cover the, all of the dice obviously uh, it's not super thick so if you want a thicker lid then you're gonna need to mix up more and these measurements aren't exact because you're cookie cutter or your mold box might not be the same size as mine but these are just the measurements that I use and that work for me so same method with pouring the lid I'm gonna throw this in the pressure pot so I'm not worried about bubbles <sighs> so once you have all of that poured I'm gonna put it in the pot let it cure for 75 minutes and then we'll take it out and Demold the master dice. Alright, so now that we have it out of the pressure pot, we're going to take all the tape off and then pop it out of the cookie cutter. I, I like using cookie cutters for this because this is the easiest way I've found to get the mold out of your mold box. I tried doing this with like a Tupperware container when I first started making this style of mold and I had a really hard time getting the mold out of the Tupperware box after I was done. And this this is just super easy. Um, you can see how easy it was to peel the lid off because of the petroleum jelly. I only had that one little edge that wanted to stick a little bit. And then you demold your masters and you're done. And you can easily modify this style of mold if you don't want 
like a, a solid cap mold, you can punch holes in the lid on the faces of these dice and make a hybrid sprue cap mold. I used to use those before I switched to these and I also like them. I just like this style mold better because there's less cleanup. And if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what kind of tutorial you'd like to see next.